Hi guys, it's been a while, but this is my next clip. <clears throat> this one is all about pond skimmer. And the reason I'm talking about this is because when it comes to building a pond, pond skimmers are very, very important. And they will skim the top of your, uh, your water, that therefore it leaves your water, the top of the water is clean, so it makes the water really clear. That's the point of the pond skimmer in and, and it's gonna get all the, you know, the fish rates that float up or the leaves or the grass or the debris that uh, fall into your pond and that will do it all. So this clip is about the best pond skimmer that you can have or you want to have for your pond. And that is a pool skim skimmer for, for your pool. And this one is the, this brand is the uh, Aladdin, uh, Aladdin 750, uh, no niche. And the last time I checked it was $69 for this uh, pond pool skimmer. And if you buy the one that is for pond, they just um, stain, they just spray paint this black and they sell for pond skimmer, but it's a lot more expensive. So what you want to do is buy the pool skimmer. You take the you know, when you get it home, take a cheap spray paint and paint it black, and that is what it's gonna look like right here. And that is, it was white. I paint it black. I use this for a while now. I used to build my own uh, my own skimmer. This is the one that I built, and it worked just fine. You can tell it's rolling. Uh, but I found that this here works so much better. I mean, so much better. It skimmed only the top part. While the one that I built, um, I have to cut it down so it skimmed the top and a few inch down too. So when you have a skimmer, you only want to skim the top of the pot. All that is going to do. And to clean them, is extremely easy. You take up this here. This is the net. Okay. This is the net. And you just click it down. And that's it. You are done. And then you put it back. And then you put this here on top. And that's it. That's all you do. And the reason this is so, so good is because you don't have to cut into your pond liner. Whenever you cut into your pond liner, there is a lot of chance that it can go wrong. And I don't want to risk that. So, as you can tell, my whole pond here, I do not cut into my liner at all. So this, it says dig a hole, put in your liner, and you are good to go. So. Here are the components. I want to show this to you before I spray paint them and I'll put, I will replace it with this one, the one that I built. And you will see, and the reason I do this is because you can see it in action. This is the one that was installed a few years ago and this is the part. So, I come with this and this is the main thing in here. So, what you want to do is buy a, a one and a half inch connector. So what it's going to do, so it can, it's going to come to here, connect it here, and then you connect it straight into your pump. So you can see, connect to your pump. And that's pretty much it. So your pump will do all the work, and then this will be here. This will be here. Your pump is down here. You can tell. My pump is down there. My pump is right on underneath the rocks. Okay. So this connects to the pump, and then the basket is right here. It goes into here, and then from here it goes into here. And this, because they make it like this, they will float. But it will float on top of the, the water. And you can tell the depth, it can go from all kind of height. 
the maximum it will go is from here, right? So it can hook, it can go right, it can go right to here, it can raise it to here. Your bottle level can go up to about five to six inches, and you still skimming the top. All right, and that's it. So hope you guys like this one, and um, definitely give this a try. Give this a try. If you, um, I can, I can pretty sure to tell you that. Once you buy this and you use it, there is no going back because they make it so simple. They built this for pool, but you know, and why not use it for pond? And the way it's built is so simple, um, no a lot, a lot, not a lot of component, and it works so so well. And this is the one that I that I built. So if, if you don't if you don't want to buy this. Um, it was it's sixty nine dollars. You can do this. So this is just a four inch. I have a net cup here. Okay, and this also a um, four inch reduced to a two inch, and then from the two inch, I connect it to my pump. So if you don't want to buy that, you can build this. And this is really easy. Um, connect to your pump. This is a, a four inch. Uh, this is a four inch, and I have a net cup here. Let me wash it up. I have a net cup here. I put it here, and then this here is a four inch. I think it's a six inch, six inch kind of uh, nectar. And then I saw it like this. So whenever it's gonna suck in the water. You see that swirling action, and it does suck in the top part, but it also tuck in a few inch down here too. But there's a swirling action. It worked. It worked really well, but it doesn't work like this. So you can tell it only skim the top. Only skim the top. It stay in your palm. Okay. No oh, skin the top. Uh, no fish and get stuck to it. Nothing because you know it only skin the top. When I when I do feed my my fish though, um, because it works so well that when I feed my fish, I would have to take this out and then uh, feed them. But it's not hard to take it out. Or if you don't want to, you can just feed your fish slowly. For me though, I will just throw in a whole cup of food and then just let them go to town. I just feed them twice, so they're not very excited to meet me right now. But uh, whenever I come out though, they will, they will chase me down and because uh, they, they know they're getting some food. And then I will take this up. If I don't have time, then I'll take this rear up here. I take it out and then I'll, I'll throw it in. And then uh, I'll come back later. I'll put this back on. And then you guys are done. So my whole goal for this is to show you guys the simple steps to do koi, to have a koi pond. Because a koi pond, the goal is to build them and uh, to enjoy your pond, not to uh, build them and work on it over and over again. I spend about uh, 10 minutes a day if I really, you know, if I'm in a rush. And what I, most of my time on is just to feed the fish, really feed the fish. So um, I don't do a lot of work on my pond. Um, my fish is doing well. So let me give you guys the back view. This is the back view of my pond. This is my aquaponic system. This is my filter. my backyard. That is my greenhouse. And back to the farm. So if you guys have any questions just let me know. I will um, right now on the descriptions of this skimmer here. And um, if you guys want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. Search, search, search it up. It's not hard to find. Uh, it's around $69. 
to you all. So that's the last time I checked. Most likely it might go up a few dollars here and there. But um, the best pond skimmer is a pool skimmer. All right. Thank you guys. Make reverse calculator here. And you guys have a good day. Bye.